Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at the Sea of Green. We're also going to be doing our first top dress. Uh, she's five weeks into flower and uh, I think it's about time she gets a feeding. We'll check out the mother as well and I'll also be announcing a few different giveaways this week that we'll be drawing for next week. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so uh, it's been five weeks into flower for this Sea of Green. The uh, Blackberry Kush clones are doing amazingly well. Let's check it out. Okay guys, there they are. They are doing fantastic. Uh, they just blow me away. Every time I open the tent in the morning, it's just like, wow. They seem like they've gotten thicker and, and just bigger overall. But uh, we have a... Uh, a four by four section here that is just full of nice big colas and there's quite a bit of frost production going on there now too lots of trichomes so uh, looking really 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 good now just for size comparison I'm just gonna sometimes it's hard to tell on camera how you know the size of things if you have nothing to really um, nothing to really compare it to so uh, I just put a, a drink can down here and just to give you an idea how big these these colas are there's your standard standard size can you know these things have three weeks to go left so uh yes yeah, super super impressed and and so easy i i said i said that last week as well it's just so easy so i've just been uh, giving her water a couple times a week and that's it but today uh, she's five weeks into flower now I haven't noticed too much as far as uh, deficiencies or anything like that but when you're feeding organically you want to stay on top of it because it takes a while for them organics to break down uh, into a usable form for the plant so you kind of want to step keep one step ahead so what I'm gonna do today is uh, I have my Gaia green uh, power bloom out and we're going to do a top dressing on these today now i've calculated in this pot is roughly 70 gallons of uh, grow medium uh, that's not counting the clay pellets on the bottom so um that works out to be according to the bag here one tablespoon per gallon it works out to be a little over four cups of uh, the gaia green power bloom that we'll be adding today so we're going to get right down to it uh, i'll set you guys up on the tripod here and uh yeah we'll just we'll give her her first uh first top dress and uh probably the last top dress because that should last her pretty much right till the end i'm thinking so let's get her done so we're just going to get in here and we're going to sprinkle all around now if you're doing this you want to wear a mask uh i i would be wearing a mask right now but i just i don't even have any in the house So I'm just trying to keep my head back here a little bit and uh, just spread it on over the entire surface here. So that's, uh, that's one cup there, we'll turn it around, make sure we get some right in the very center. Okay, that's two cups. Now, I'm not sure how much of this you can see through the leaves there. Now I left, I left a lot of those bottom leaves on, uh, just for the simple fact that we took off, we took off some up at the top, and the bottom ones, uh, they're catching the any of the light that comes through, and they're not really they're not hurting anything down here uh, once they start to yellow up then um, I'll probably go through and pull a lot of them off so that's three cups and one more cup get any spots here that we missed the first time around So 
So that's four cups there. I think that's probably enough. And I'll put, we'll put a little bit more here. Okay, so now what I want to do is I have this little uh, thing here from the kitchen. It was a pair of tongs, but you can't you can't really grab much with that. So anyway, I just kind of dedicated them to my uh, my top scratcher. I'm just going to go through and gently kind of kind of uh, break up that top a little bit. Not, I'm not going down too far to bother much for roots or anything like that. But uh, I just want to work that into the soil a little bit. So I'm just going to go around, do that. And this works pretty good because it kind of gets, you can go right around your plant pretty easy. And uh, if you feel like you're hitting roots down there, well, just kind of ease up a bit. But we're just trying to work it in just a little bit. Rip that topsoil up a little bit. And if you do, um, if you do happen to cut through a couple little top uh, roots there, it's not going to hurt anything anyway. So we'll get her all worked in here. So I uh, finished. I finished harvesting the outside cafe racer that was beside the shed there. Uh, we did most of it last week, and then I just took down what was left today. I left the I left the rest to finish up for a week, and uh, that worked out perfect. The ones that were a little bit farther underneath, uh, they needed that extra week just to finish up, just to mature up those trichomes. And uh, when I checked them, they were fine. So. I ended up taking all that down and um, yeah I'll uh, I'll definitely try to get a weight for you on the whole thing once they're all dried and uh, I'll let you know in one of the future videos on that all right so we got the, the top scraped up there a little bit just work that uh, guy of green in there and I'll have my water jug I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna water everything I'm gonna give them probably about uh, between six six and eight gallons of water on top uh, two gallons at a time so I will uh, I'll water this up and then we'll come right back okay guys so we got it all watered up uh, ended up ended up putting six gallons of water over the top here one thing about this being on the the turntable here is that uh, I can tell I can tell how much water it needs now uh, just by how easy it is to turn so that helps out quite a bit it's kind of the same as uh, picking up a pot to see whether it needs to be watered or not so uh, that worked out really well and everybody here is looking super happy and in a few days those uh, new nutrients will be broken down by the microbes and uh, these guys will be be eating happy and and they should stay nice and healthy right up to the end I'm thinking so uh, this is an eight week strain and they're just a little over five weeks now so uh, yeah I'm thinking that feeding should last them probably for the last few weeks what do you think on that guys uh, I'm pretty new to organics, but I know somebody mentioned in the comments last week uh, about uh, feeding doing lasting about three weeks or so. But uh, yeah, let me know your comments on that down below. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at Mama, see how she's making out. Here's Mama, Mama Blackberry Kush. Uh, these are from I Love Growing Marijuana.com, by the way, these Blackberry Kush. And they are also one of the donators of the prizes that I will be uh, uh, announcing announcing the giveaway on here shortly. But uh, yeah, Mama's not doing, she's she not very happy. She's not very happy. She looks really yellow on this uh, camera, but she's not as yellow as it looks. But uh, she is missing something. So I might have to up her feeding a little bit and... Uh, see if we can pull her out of that because she hasn't she's not really growing at all 
since last week she hasn't changed much so uh, I'm gonna start upping her uh, general hydroponic maxi bloom and see if we can see if we can get her back into the growing stages again and uh, fatten up those buds a bit but as of right now yeah baby's got her beat I don't think she's gonna be able to catch up okay guys so there's a look at the girls for this week uh, the sea of green is doing amazing mom needs a little extra TLC uh, we're gonna give her that uh, upper feeding a little bit and hopefully she pulls out of that okay and now for the giveaways we have four different giveaways first second third and fourth places now I've had two companies reach out and wanted to provide donations for this giveaway uh, first prize is from Mars Hydro uh, Mars Hydro I've been using their lights for uh, years now and uh, I really like them um, I can't say anything bad about them right from the TS 1000 right up to the uh, SP 6500 the FC 4800s they're they're all great lights they wanted to donate a, a TS 600 tent kit now this isn't just the light and the tent this comes with a four inch exhaust with carbon filter um, and all the duct work that you need for that comes with a timer a thermostat uh, pots um, ratchet straps pretty much everything you need except for the soil in your plant so uh, that's pretty awesome for someone just starting out and wanting to grow one plant it's perfect it's perfect for a uh, a mother plant that you want to keep and take clones from or if you just want to start a new grow while your other ones finish it up uh, It's perfect for that as well. So that's pretty awesome. That's the first prize now The next three prizes are from I love growing marijuana.com. I've grown plenty of their genetics and uh, I've always been pleased with them and they wanted to donate a few coupon codes. So for the second prize we have a hundred and seventy dollar coupon code for third and fourth prizes, we have $79 coupon codes. So uh, that's really awesome of them. One thing though, I love uh, I love growing marijuana.com only ships to the US. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. That's just the way it is. So I think the way we'll pick winners is uh, just put your country in the comments. Uh, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, like I said, put your country down in the comments. I'll use a random comment generator and uh, we'll pick the prizes that way. So uh, good luck to everybody on that. And I'll be announcing the winners next week. So make sure you tune in to find out. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.